Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here behind me, you can see my original Neon Tetra pariah here. This is a car I came up with. I figured out the the Chrome Crew glitch where you can get a chrome color, a crew color over the chrome. And I thought with that blue silver kind of thing, we'd give it some red highlights. It'd be kind of like a Neon Tetra fish, you know, which is one of my favorite of the... The, the inexpensive fish you can get for your household. They're, they're nice. They're pretty durable. You get a bunch of them. They look cool. I think for the prior, this has worked extremely well. And I kind of made it my general livery. And it's it's worked to some extent. Like, this isn't too bad either here over on my Wagner. I'm not sure I'm in love with it. But it's okay on the Wagner. I've never been happy with it on the RE7B. Like, there's something weird here where it doesn't, the blue doesn't really come through as much. I mean, you can see it a little bit. And I, I know you can see it in the door jams. You can see that little blue line there. So it's definitely, it's definitely crewed up. But it's never, it's never popped really well for me. And, you know, this, this car being, you know, based on the 787B... You know, that was erased so successfully. I thought maybe, you know, now that I, I finally kind of, I saw a video, you know, from Bruffy explaining how to do the the matte pearlescent glitch. And maybe we could try that with this car and give it a little bit more of a, of a, a 787B look. It's not going to be perfect because you can't, you, you'd really need a, a primary and secondary colors and they'd have to be pretty generous. It'd have to be it have to be done just the right way to get the the orange and green of the 787B. But we can we can at least homage to it. We can at least invoke that, you know. This is a nice car. Even after all these years, it's still just so nice. Nice to drive. It can be a little tricky because you have to really push it on the on the corners to get you see how it turns blue there in a certain light. It, it, it's an interesting paint job. I have other stuff with this paint job. All cleaned up. Yeah, we're there. All right. So first thing, we need to respray. We do have a secondary. Where's the secondary? See, it doesn't. You don't really see a lot there with the. Uh, what's changing color? You might have to add parts. I don't know. We have to. Is there parts we can add to this? Such a livery. You can't even see the the Stancy livery is the closest to the uh, to the original, I think, with that crisscross. So we're gonna go with that. But there's not like okay, so spoiler. You can't even get a secondary spoiler. Like it has a secondary paint, but you can't really do much with it. It might be like if we go to respray, it might be just that white bit in the middle there. Yeah, there you go. That That's all there is. It's like the frame underneath. So we'll, we'll work with that in a minute. But first of all, primary color. Matte. Now I'm trying to remember which part of that... Let me get my phone here. And where did I put my phone? It's right here. Let me call it the RE the, the 787B and see what part of this would have been the orange or the green. Because that's maybe we'll maybe we'll fold this in here. I don't know if I'm doing that or not. Just put, put in to the search 787B. Oh, there was a comma in there and it got confused. Seven eight. 7B Mazda. There we go. Okay. Well, it's a little bit different of a mix here. Let's let me pull up the images. So it kind of looks like where the white would be is kind of where the green would be. It's not perfect. But we should probably go with a predominantly orange look here. And not really that even that's a different. I guess we could get like a, a, a darker orange. I 
If it's the wrong orange, does it matter if it's matte? Do we really need to go with the glitch? But we can do the glitch and we can see how it looks. If we want to do it a different way, I can I can blow some money on this. So we're going to go with orange. And then what you do is you hover over metallic for a while. Hover, 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 hover. Then you back out. And we don't have a license plate. You have to change the license plate to do this. We can't even do the glitch. Dread. All right. Well, you, what you do is you change the plate, and then you go back, and you can go straight to pearlescent, and then it'll work. It's the way the glitch is supposed to work. Now, that's just a fail. All right. We're going to go back to respray. Primary color. Metallic. Fine. We'll make it shiny. And we'll get the right orange. I don't know why there's more colors available in metallic, but sunrise orange looks a little bit better, I think. At least compared to the pictures. Is it too dark? It's really a reddish, a more red orange than this. So I think we're going to go with that. And then, for the pearlescent, which should cover up some of the livery, so it might have some effect here. Where is lime green? Well, that really just does not. That looks like hell. Does not come across even a little bit the way I wanted it to. Nope, nope, nope. I wanted it to kind of lime green up the estancia. What is the current pearlescent? Pearlescent black. Nothing here looks good. We're not getting the vibe we want. What I want is I want this all to be green, really. I mean, that's kind of... I mean, we can make the secondary color like a metallic. Wait, the secondary is Tonino red. I mean, that's here. We can make that lime green. We can make the, the wheels lime green. What if we look at the other livery? Pegasus livery. That's not going to look better with a. Uh, a green overcast to it, is it now? Well, I'm, I'm getting disappointed here, gang. I really am. Wheel color. Is that like the best we can do? Or would it be better just for the looks of it? Give this orange wheels. And we're just going to experiment here. That mix kind of looks a little bit better. It doesn't really it doesn't really capture the exact flavor. And then do we want to just throw the whole RE7B thing out the window and just make it look nice? Racing green's a little too dark. Do yellow is a thing.
Bright green's not quite bright enough. Lime green's too bright. It's a weird kind of thing. Let's just go lime. That arguably looks better. Especially how it highlights the gold. You can't lose the 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 uh, the stancia a little bit with the lime. The racing green might look the best, which it's a race car, so it makes sense. So we've completely lost the theme here. You know, that's kind of a thing that happens periodically. Secondary color. What did we make the secondary color? It is lime. But now we want to switch it to orange. So we still have a little of the theme. There's a little. There's a little bit of a miser, but not much. And not much you could do. Like, can we make the... Um, you can't make it get a secondary spoiler. Like, why? I don't know. It's an old car. Windows. Change this to, from lim to, change that to light smoke in case I ever get locked in first person. Armor brakes. Titanium tuner. Horn. I don't even know what the horn is on that car. Lights. Okay, we should change that. Neon kit. Neon layout is fine. We'll give it an orange tint there. Livery done. Respray done. Spoiler we did. Suspension is already slammed. Transmission turboed up here. Wheels. Let's make sure we have. We don't have bulletproofs on this. How many years have I been running this without bulletproofs? No, Even no. The police don't have these. Tire smoke. Okay, so we have a little bit of a green and orange thing going here. There's like no body parts I could change to bring in more orange. But I think we all have to agree that looks better than the the neon tetra that I had been racing with. Yeah, I know green racing cars are supposed to be bad luck. But I mean, then again, yeah, you know, I was a Harry Gant fan, so you know, Skull Bandit. But we'll see how it goes. We can always repaint it. Part of the fun, really. Does this have a plate? Well, maybe we could try with the Wagner. Yeah, we'll do a double repaint video here. And this one, I don't really have a plan. I'm going to leave the Pariah as the, the Neon Tetra. Okay. Now we're going to try and see if we can do the glitch. Pair of vehicle. Can never happen. Let's 
engine. I think this is. I think this is. We're gonna check everything anyway eventually. Okay, we got secondary color detail here, so we can. We have some some things on this. I don't know what color we're gonna make this. Respray, primary color, matte. Now, what's our basic? Hey, you have a whole Batmobile thing going here. We need something that's going to show off a good pearlescence. I mean, blues are good as a start point. A dark blue, a midnight purple. Maybe we could do like a midnight purple... With a crew blue over it. What's gonna show up nice? And there's not really a particular livery I'm running with right now. We could bring in a lime green pearlescent. That would be good over something. We well, could do a full up joker on it. And do kind of lime green over purple. Let's try lime green over blue. We'll see if we have the look goes. We go with this. Then you just hover. You know, you kind of hover metallic. And you leave that there for a little while. Then you back out, plate, change the plate. And then you go back to respray, primary color. Doesn't work. I did the thing. Okay, so matte, purple, then blue. So change it and just hover over metallic. Maybe because I backed out one too far. Boy, am I just losing out today. That's exactly how you're supposed to... Does that only work on, like, PS4 or something? Okay, well, there's, let's, let's just repaint it and make it look cool. Again, double fail. A lot more options. Yeah, you know, we could go. We could totally give this a uh, a Ron livery. I think it would do well with that. It would go surf blue, pearlescent, diamond, secondary. Secondary orange. Trim color, also orange. Accent color, orange. You could do something a little, mix up a little bit, like you go with. Uh, You try to go with white there or something like that. Maybe like a white trim. No, nah, let's stick it. Classic this. Do we have a livery? No livery. We have all these different color options. No livery. Oh, and let's see. We'll do the, we'll do the wheels. Um, roof. We have a secondary scoop. Primary scoop. Yeah, at least secondary scoop alone. Spoiler. Do we have... Ooh, we could, we could, 
to do this, but there is so much carbon. I think we'll leave the carbon alone on that. You know, I go over the top. Do we leave the wheels black or do we go with the, uh, the orange? I think the orange. Okay. Totally. Do we want to lose the all terrain radials? Let's leave it black. Might look a little bit better that way. Oh, tire smoke. We got patriotic. We'll leave it patriotic. You only can get that every once in a while. Oh, the, the color band. They, the, you know, we got one more thing here. Get me back in here. Watch the magic turnaround there. Hey, don't worry. Give me on. The crew blue kind of works, but we got to go lights. Neon color. There you go. So, complete failure on doing the uh, the glitch. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. Now it's making me look at this. I'm making me wonder. How would the Estancia look in a Ron livery? Like, if we change this green to blue... Left the Estancia. Might be too light. We're gonna look at it, though. Hey, if you're gonna do a paint video, you might as well do a paint video, right? Huh? Hello, rabbit! Oh no! Not again! Crashed. I changed the uh, the wiring back on my headsets a little bit ago. I no longer have it hooked through the microphone. I had it hooked to the microphone when it crashed, and I think there's a, a loose connection in the microphone. And you wiggle that sometimes and things go haywire. I don't know. It could be... I mean, it crashes all the time. It could be anything. So, we're going to try this again. Well, the good news for you is this will definitely mean I'll have reason and opportunity to, uh, to put in the, the pictures of the actual 787B. Probably grabbed from Wikipedia. Almost jumped him, but he did not jump him. It's an interesting car. It's got kind of lower grip when it's not moving slow. It gets all of its grip from. Ooh, look, there's a another thing I can repaint here. What happened? Whoa, well, wait a minute. Done a little remodeling. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, what were we doing here? We were going to look at a respray, primary color, metallic. And we're considering what would happen. We went into the blues. Saxon blue might isn't a true true Ron Livery kind of thing. It's 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 all surf blue. Surf blue kinda of works though with these times, yeah. Saxon blue looks particularly good, but he's not a Ron livery. So what do we do here? Surf blue. We might change the the, the livery as well. There's going to be a, one thing that will will drive that pearlescent diamond. So there you have your true Ron. But if we let's look at the livery. 
That is the Pegasus livery. If it has anything that says run on it. No, no, it doesn't. That does pull in the uh, the blue a little bit better. Like, which one do you think? The Lucky Seven Pegasus. Because we're 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 kind of going off the rails here as far as doing an, uh, a seven eight seven B homage. Because I mean, that's just. the finest cigars versus Pegasus in the pump and run gymnasium in Dynasty 8 Farscht Tunken International okay I kind of like the Pegasus a little bit more than the Estancia but the Estancia looks so much more run you know oh it's so tough Maybe they're equally good. Then there's none. None doesn't look bad, but we need some. Okay, is this 45,000 better? It might be. But we're going to keep it as it is for right now. When in doubt, we can always change it later. I think it does look a little bit better than with the, you know, it looks. Well, it looks more meme. I mean, we definitely were, we're capturing. There's a purpose to it. I guess you'd say it's not a true Ron livery because it didn't say Ron anywhere. I plan on doing something with this too. I've kept it to stock white and, and red. I remember when I was doing a lot of my Chiliad videos just to make Jake happy. My son, he loved just running, into, watching me run into the, uh, the bowling pins when he was little. I used to do one, there was one, I'd select this livery with green, and it had kind of a Christmassy, somewhat watermelony kind of look to the whole thing. So if I do that. There, that looks better. Wait, now leave that alone, and Respray, primary color, metallic. Pink looks good. That'd throw people off. That'd be great for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day racer. We're, we're not gonna do that. Got your two yellow, dark green, racing green on this one. That was kind of one of the looks I was looking at. Bright green. Yeah, that was. But you know, looking at it now, like it, I'm not, I'm not getting the same vibe I did years ago. I don't know. I don't have too many gasoline green cars. What's well, before we respray? Before, because it still looks good there. We don't want to, we don't want to make it less. Spoiler is remove spoiler that it gives you down for us, believe it or not. 
Let's go up to livery. The Kronos livery. This has some potential. I think the Kronos livery will actually go with a lot more colors. Yeah, it looks good with white. If we decide, no, we're just going to leave it. Lights, uh, neon kits, neon layout has it. The yeah, color is white for the time being, that's fine. Primary color, metallic what? See, purple, I know, purple and teal work, work really good. It's a common thing, though. You see a lot of purple and teal on those. Spinnaker purple. That will be a little bit less common. You normally go with the bright purple. The bright purple obviously works. Spinnaker purple, maybe. See this this, yeah, the ultra blue looks good. This this particular livery goes with a lot of stuff. You could even try and do a run with it or not. We're not gonna do that. We've done that. Lime green. Now here's your gasoline green. Is it a little too monochromatic at that point? Is there not enough contrast? Now this is a globe oil on it. We could do the we could have done red and white with this, but it's got yeah, it's on the wrong livery. The end of time. I like it. I don't know that I like it better than some other things. We could do that. That does give a, a give a Ron vibe with a globe oil thing on it. That'd be funny. Yeah, and pink works. Now it's an Easter car. Am I doing any Easter racing? Am I going to do an Easter racing video? Man, that looks like a pretty good Easter egg. I mean, hot pink, the, all the pinks work, but that does have an Easter... That, that just screams Easter to me. Secondary color. What is that? What, what affects the secondary? Oh, there you go. So the secondary is currently ice white. That kind of works. The ice white secondary does work with this particular motif. Got to do something with the wheels, though. First of all, lights. Neon kit. Neon color. Pony pink. Okay, we get some spoiler. Is there a yeah? No, there's no multicolored wheels. Wheels are stock, and we need to fix that. I think they're stock. We can't if we go to wheel color. Yeah, they're stock wheels. So we're gonna go off road because I think this one still benefits from off roaders. Could go chrome, but to be wildly more expensive. You have more options now than back in the old days. The concave fives are nice. I I do do some off. I do concave rally masters. I do like those. Back it out. Back it out. Real color. And the frost white will work. The salmon pink works probably better. Especially if we're going to make this an Easter racing car. Tire enhancements are these. These have bulletproofs, thank goodness. I think the lettering works on this one. Tire smoke. It's 
there might be an excessive amount of pink if we put pink tire smoke on this. So we'll do it. Windows, white smoke. See mirrors, color coded mirrors, carbon. Okay, stock mirrors. I kind of like the white accent there. I think we're we're okay with that. Exit. Okay, so it looks like we have some Easter racing in our future here. I have to get on that. Check. Do I did I do Easter racing? Really? Do I have anything other than this? And now see now I'm gonna have to consider. Other things that I can Easter up. Hmm, well, I might do that not in this video, so there's still some surprises. But that's Easter. We probably won't keep it this way. Although, you know, maybe I'll just keep it as an Easter racer. How often do I race the ETR1? Hmm. Not very often. This could work in compacts for Easter, I guess. Love won't hurt anymore. If, I give her, if you're ever in a compact. Please. Doesn't happen. Oh, you know what we'll do? Let's do this. Let's take a ride over. Rather than calling people, let's take a ride. Let's take the bug. Take the vivo. Don't worry, I'm going to I'm going to use the bug's special feature because although it is a compact compact it has this we'll use that to go over the the hump there I doubt I'll, I'll run into I, I don't anyone anyway. So this time it crashed as soon as uh, soon as we uh, got two thousand dollars for good behavior here. That's just lovely. It's all right. The last car I want to do here. There's other possibilities. I mean, this this I only keep because one of my original old paint jobs. Of course, now it's it's a uh, potential house special works car if they ever bring that to PC. So we're gonna hang on to that. So I'm gonna keep it the same. These two. I might redo. I might get rid of them at some point, but they were free and it'd be expensive to replace them. They're gaudy, but they're very American. I don't know. We might probably keep those for Fourth of July stuff. But this here, I just this is one one of the cars that I first figured out the Chrome Crew glitch on, which is my Stratum. The Stratum is not exactly a perfect analogy. For uh, the car that I currently have, which I, I'm now my personal driver, uh, I have one of these. It's kind of decked out like my old '98 Subaru Outback. It's in the same color scheme. And what I'd like to do with this one is make this as close as I can to my current daily driver, which is a 2009 Subaru Outback wagon. We're really, really into the vanity part of this whole thing now. Pair of vehicle. This isn't even upgraded. Okay, well this is this is gonna have some serious chops after we get done with all this. Yeah, we're not putting an ignition bomb on it. Uh, lights. Uh, neon kit, neon layout is gonna be all of it just for the performance. We're leaving it white. And I don't know if my car has xenon. I don't think my car has xenon. We're gonna leave that alone. It does have pretty white looking lights though. We might put white lights on it. The plate, already black night. The respray, primary color. I'm right, gonna go metallic. It does have a very metallic look to it. And I'm gonna say, now it's a matter of, I actually took pictures here. I'm going to get out my phone and I'm going to match the grays as best I can here. It's dirty, and that's why I'm not gonna. Until the car is really washed up and looking nice, I'm not going to share photos with you just yet. We'll get there. Hmm. 
I can say it is a unique and complicated silver. None of this matches. It's silver. You'd think silver would be an uncomplicated deal. Let me switch to another. I think it's a base, dark steel. Maybe if we do dark steel with a pearlescent. Do we want to do a pearlescent blue silver? That's not far off, but let's see. Silver, blue, silver, shadow, silver, stone, silver, midnight. I'm thinking bluish silver might have the... Of course, now let's, let's consider this. Yeah, that might be. No, yeah. Maybe it actually is a pearlescent. You know, it's depending on lighting. Ooh. That might get it. Again, it could depend on the lighting. I mean, it might be more accurate with the... as this. But, you know, looking at the photograph I'm looking at, and again, there's a lot of trees and stuff around it could be reflecting onto it. The cream pearlescent might capture it. Although it has more highlights, like the frost white, so I... The cream might not be bright enough. I think this is going to be close. I think we're going to go ice white pearlescent over this now. We have option for suspension. I thought you can leave it stock because it actually has a good amount of ground clearance, the actual car. Has, actually, has more ground clearance than that. So now. Turbo. I don't have a turbo in mind, but we're, we're never accurate with that stuff. Now, wheel type. This is tricky because I have, let's see, some fancy dancy wheels here. I don't think low rider. I mean, off road. I. I don't see it being an off-road wheel type sport. I am really, this is going to be tough to match up. They're kind of thick wheels. You know, not, they're not these wide open kind that you see here. And I might, I might just have to pick a wheel I like. SUVs. See, something along that, it's not exactly that, of course, but something along those lines that's kind of the right shape boy that's probably computer crashed and now the car is this color why but I mean it's a nice color and my and why do I have pink lights Oh, you know, I'm, I think I accidentally just did some kind of merge glitch here because I just drove the uh, the Easter egg car. That, has a di that had a different set of lights on it, too. Something weird happened here. and All the stuff got changed up. I never had pink lights on this. I never had that color pink on anything. I had the other pink. Why does my computer keep crashing, number one? Let, let's stop recording while I fix this. Sorry your vehicle's already fitted with this item. And yet, it looks pink now. Respray, primary color, metallic. What did we even, what did I even say we were gonna go for? I think rolled steel, right? No, rolled steel looks too light. 
dark steel. We did dark steel with a a frost white or, or an ice white, whatever the lighter one was. Pearlescent. Diamond blue. What would that look like? Diamond blue not quite punchy enough. That's what we decided on. I'm still pink, even though it says that we're not. Let's see. Let me go back to lights. Neon kits, neon color. I change it to blue, then change it to white. Now it's not pink. Might have unglitched itself at some point, but there's no, and there's no spoiler. I have a spoiler. I don't, can't get a spoiler. It's grippy enough. Now I'm going to stop recording while I get the wheels turned out. Okay, so I settled on the Chronos. So that's what we're going to go with, I think, here. Oh. And this is as good as I can make it. It's, my car's got the sunroof. I don't have a roof rack for it. Don't have the spoiler. There's not a lot of this kind of wagon, so this is as close as I can get it. Of course, I don't have running lights, but you kind of need those for performance. Not exact, but pretty close, at least close enough for GTA. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, before it crashes again, I don't know why that's happening, but this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I took the Sparrow and I landed it in the office, in the agency office. Not the regular office, the agency office. And that appears to have stripped it of its moon pool, moon pool vehicle status. It's there, but doesn't list as a you know, it's not the, the Sparrow. I was able to pull another one in and I returned it. This is still there. I'm wondering if it's not a moon pool. It, moon pool. Why can't I say moon pool? Moon pool. Can we land it in the hangar? Which would make it really, really cool. Now, no, I've never tried landing it in the hangar with just as a moon pool vehicle. I don't think you could. Maybe this wouldn't be necessary. Maybe this is... Not working? It's not even telling me that I can't. All right. Well, that was fun while it lasted. What should we use to fly back? Maybe the Tula. Um, you can win it with just a spin on the lucky wheel. Sure thing. Limo en route. 